Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here on the Scoop Studio at Productronica 2017. I'm joined by Gunter Lauber from ASM. Gunter, great to see you. You're now more involved with ASMPT than, than you were previously. Tell me a bit about what's going on with the, with the group and also what's going on specifically with Assembly Solutions. Yeah, the group is doing uh, very well. We just announced uh, nine months results for the first uh, three quarters of the year. And in every segment, we achieved the record uh, billings and also booking. So the company is doing quite well. And I believe our customers uh, do understand the advantage of having the complete uh, portfolio in one company, from starting with the lead frame to back-end equipment, where we then do the components uh, up to SMT, where we use the components and place them. And one important area is advanced packaging which is really growing and this is, this is really a good opportunity for us because we have a broad portfolio to cover this. Yeah, that broad portfolio is really interesting, isn't it? Because there's a lot of um, growth in the industry in terms of line solutions or, or, or bigger, more holistic solutions. And there's also this desire to collaborate. So you have to balance those collaborations with what you do internally. Is that a, a big challenge? Yeah, this is a challenge for the whole industry, but uh, as, as you know, we are one of the driver also for Hermes, that we have the machine-to-machine -machine communication, have a standard for this to do it easier. We are working uh, now in this joint venture, Atomos, where we also do the connectivity to the cloud and, and have IoT platform solutions, because this for me is the future. We're using the new technologies and not just do the same what we did in the past, like a monitoring system or a planning system. No, you have to use the data to analyze the data, uh, do some correlations with uh, the different processes and then optimize the production even better than, than before. And this is the challenge going forward. Yeah, and it's interesting when you talk about those new technologies coming to the market. I see lots going on in artificial intelligence, both outside and within our industry. Augmented reality is really important, but also robotics. Some of those, you have internal resources, some of them you need to partner. What kind of companies are you partnering with on, on those particular areas? I, 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 I don't want to mention the name of a specific partner because we try to be open to everybody because it's this is the future. There's no, oh, I only partner with this company or this company. This is a network going forward which has to be really a flexible network and that's why standards are so important. And this is this has to come that it's easy to connect a sensor, a machine, and then get all the data and do something with the data. And we as the as one of the bigger provider with a huge portfolio, we obviously can contribute a lot to this and this is what we are going to do. And there are partnerships with companies like KUKA and, and, and so on on the robotics side where why should we develop our own uh, robots, uh, but we have to integrate it in our solution. So there are, there are many partnerships. Yeah. And it's, it's sharing that domain expertise, that extreme domain expertise you have in placement, in print, now in SPI, in different areas, and being able to use that to create holistic benefits for the, for the whole industry. That requires some level of artificial intelligence. Is that an area you're specifically developing products in? Yes, we definitely want to go in this direction because this is one of the advantage of the new technologies. If you only have arti artificial intelligence capabilities but don't have the data to work with, it also doesn't really help you. Or if you can, uh, cannot do 3D sensing, and this is now starting with iPhone 10, will be the first one, the others will follow. This will open up so many new opportunities and this is what we, what we have to help in production for our customers to use artificial intelligence based on a lot of data where you can do an analysis and then come up with even better processes or control the processes better. And the other, one of the other terms I'm starting to hear more, and I saw at the Hanover Fair this year, is the, is the term digital twin, the idea of creating a digital twin of a factory, of a line, of a whole solution, to be able to plan, to be able to do what-if scenarios. Are your customers starting to talk about that? Yes, and we have since years already, uh, for, for certain applications, already a virtual kind of twin. We didn't uh, call it like this uh, years, but we, we do offline planning. This is also a virtual twin that you uh, simulate the production and then uh, when, when it's optimized and you put it on, on the real line. And this will come more and more. I think you, you will... Uh, production managers in the future will sit in their office, uh, run through the production of the ne next day in the virtual environment, say, okay, that's okay, and then they put it in, in real production. This will come more and more. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's getting us much closer to that smart factory nirvana, that industry 4.0 solution that we've been looking for for a long time. 
Gunter, great to see you again. Thanks for stopping by and thank you for talking to Thanks. me. Thanks very much, Phil. Thank you.